Well, it's that uh, time of year again. It's May 27th, 2017, and I'm back down in the uh, southern tier of New York. Now I haven't posted too many videos, but I've been busy with work, and I just don't seem to have the content that I can think of during, you know, after hunting season and stuff, besides maybe shed hunting, but I only found one shed this year. I'll put a picture of that in there in a minute, uh, half side of a 10-pointer or so. But uh, I'm down in a ravine. Sorry, thought I heard something coming. I'm down in a ravine. A lot of pine thickets down here. What I'm going to do is, um, you can see this open area right here. Cuts into the pines. I'm just going to go straight that way. i got a trail cam set up where I know there's a lot of deer trails and movements over here during uh, bow season and um, shotgun season, but I never got a stand down here before, so I figured I might as well try it out. And uh, we're gonna go down there and look for one right now, and uh, I'll turn you right back on when I find one. Okay, found my hunting spot. There's the uh, trail camera I was talking about. Pine thicket, open area, it's a little bit more swampy in there. And you got hardwoods, a mixture of pines, ash, oak, everything in here. So uh, it looks open, kind of open, but it really isn't that open once you get up in the tree. Um, I'm going to set it up on this tree right here, most likely facing towards that way. So when they're coming down this trail, I can see them a little bit easier off the ridge of the mountain. If there's snow, if it's later in the fall, it would be good for a rifle spot too. Um, I might have to cut one or two shooting lanes if I'm going to hunt in here with rifle, like not major shooting lanes, nothing that... I got enough cover from, hopefully, from this pine tree. You know, now that I think of it, I might put it on that one, just for the fact that there's more pine trees around it, because if this loses its leaves, I'd have to be up pretty high for them not to see me. But uh, this is the spot. Um, I'll get right back at you when I uh, set her up. All right. Well, I, I ended up changing my mind again anyways. I decided not to go with that one. That's when I realized that <clears throat> there's really no shots out of that tree at all so I'm up in this one right now when I said the first time I have a good shot on that creek if I get maybe rid of a couple small branches right in there I'll have a good shot if I get up if I clear some of those branches I'll have a pretty good shot right right there and maybe one more one branch there maybe I'd say I'm about, uh, I'm not that high, I'm only about like 17 feet, which is enough in here, because I am, I have a lot more cover than I thought. I mean, I even just cleared two branches from this tree, and I still have cover. I might, might be able to get a shot down in there, but this is probably my main shooting spot right in here. But, uh, I'll probably end up hunting this, oh... Uh, I said I was gonna hunt it maybe for doe, but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is change my mind and only hunt this in uh, probably right before Halloween. I might come in here a couple times in the first couple weeks of October, but I don't wanna disturb it too much if I know the bucks are down here. No one really walks in here. My grandpa hunts maybe 450 yards up that way. And another guy hunts down that way, but he hasn't been up in the last couple years, so he might not even come up. So really, this whole area I have to myself, and it's a pretty damn big area. So, um, see what happens. Uh, stay tuned for maybe some trail cam videos in a couple weeks. After I, I, I might come up here before 4th of July weekend, or maybe the 4th of July weekend, and then I'll grab the cameras and uh, put a few videos of them growing their antlers and the coyote I got on camera right down in there. So um, we'll see what happens and uh, stay tuned for more.